to print with varnish. The printing of varnish makes the samples look very bright and more vivid. The surface of the unvarnished sample will appear much duller than the varnished sample. So this is why the varnished sample is applied. Today's focus is to teach you how to print varnish well. Open the drawing software Photoshop to process the picture first and then start to do spot color processing to the picture. Hold down the control key and click the process picture. Then you can see that the picture is lighty with a dotted phrase. Then click on the channel. Click on the icon in the upper right corner. Drop down and select new spot color channel. This step needs to be repeated twice. Note that the number 3 and 4 needs to be filled in, the, in for the name. The filling of the numbers is also particular. Channels 1 and 2 are spot color channels for whiting, and the channels 3 and 4 are spot color channels for varnish. Then adjust the CNYK parameters in the two layers. The above is the operation on the computer software and the operation of the printing system also needs to be adjusted according to the actual situation to achieve the desired effect. Here we do two kinds of varnish treatments. One is full spread varnish and the other is partial varnish. The printing of full varnish is only suitable for dust-free workshops. Otherwise, it is inevitable that dust in the air will fall on the products during printing, which will affect the printing effect. Partial varnish is printed on the surface on the finished product. The contrast can improve the texture grade of the product and present a special feeling. Compared with full spread varnish, we recommend that you use partial varnish for printing. The above is the varnish treatment of UV fabric printers that I brought to you. I hope to provide you with some help, and I hope it can effectively help everyone.